Welcome to Trade with Rob for Wednesday, the 7th of June, 2023. It is being brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. My name is Robert Roy. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Keeping in mind that everything we look at is for educational purposes. Nothing is meant to be advice or recommendations. If you like what you see, make sure it fits your own personal risk profile and risk tolerance before you ever take on that trade or do that strategy or system. All right, we've got a lot of places that you can come along and follow us. Make sure you are here on YouTube, follow along, ring that bell, subscribe so you get notified of the latest and greatest. If you go over to tradinglikeaboss.com or tradewithrob.com, you can register for free to get notified on Trade With Rob. And of course, on tradinglikeaboss.com is all of our free resources and content uh, that we put out there for all of you to help become better traders. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and jump in. So if I bring up our chart, I want to start off first by looking at the candidates from yesterday. The first one was ACN, right? And I'm going to really bring this in. I'm not going to worry about the fibs on this that you see them. I just want you to see the pattern, right? We got down today, no trade, pass. This is an orange or yellow. We're not doing this one, right? So ACN was a no. Next is AMAT, AMAT, Applied Materials. Applied Materials gapped down pass on the trade, right? It wasn't a little gap, it gapped into the middle of the abyss, right? In the middle of nowhere. Last was American Express. And that gapped, it gapped up towards that 167.71. It pulled back just below it, it bounced. It ran right into our resistance of 170.73. If we look at it on an intraday chart, Right, so here we have the five minute candle on American Express, right? And you can see it, it's hard to say yes that I take that trade or not. So we go over to a one minute candle and we just back it up until we find the beginning of the day today. What happened? We had a quick gap up and a nice close below. I'm talking pennies below. Remember 167.71 is that horizontal line. We closed, let's get it up here so we can read it. We closed at 167.63. So that's eight cents below. As far as I'm concerned, we nailed it. We are right there. We opened up. We took off from there. Trade taken right about, let's go back here. Trade taken right about 168 and a half. We're out of this trade. Market did just close. We're out of this trade right about 170, 170 and a quarter. Great trade set up today. Knocking it out of the park, baby. Hopefully you took this one. The setup was perfect right out of the gate. Set it up. Five minutes into the market, walk away, put your stops and your targets in, and you have nothing else to do. You're done. You can go enjoy life the way it's supposed to be. All right. So with that, yesterday we had the A's. Today we've got the M's, right? Three M's. And I don't mean three M like the ticker symbol, right? So here we're looking at uh, Marriott International, M-A-R, right? They push right into the zero line. I love it. I love it. I love it. Nice bullish bias, true bull. All the moving averages are in the right order. We are up near resistance level. If we push down from here, not surprised, it's happened one, two, three, could be four times now. It's already happened three separate times. We've pushed up and failed, right? At this point, we're looking at $8. So 73 to 81 is 78. We don't really need to worry about a fibbit inside of there, right? On the upside, we will. Uh, we definitely will need a fibbit in there. Uh, let's see. This is actually eight and a half versus eight and a quarter. Yeah, we're going to put them both. We're going to add a negative 136 and a 118. And let's go ahead and get you some targets uh, for both. Negative 136. Up and down. All right, there's the 118. Okay. So now, if we fail up the 181.55, 177 and a quarter is support. So we're going to be at 178. 178 and a quarter, somewhere in that area is where we're going to set our target. If we break above the 181 and a half level, which I'd love to see it do, by the way, retest und bounce, 186 and a half is resistance. So 186 to 185 and a half, somewhere in that range for me is going to be where my target will be. All right, so I like the Marriott setup a lot. All right, then we've got Moderna, MRNA. Uh, let's go look at a bigger picture so you can see the whole thing. I can't believe you ate the whole thing. Right, uh, we do have a need for a new fit. We're just not there yet. We don't have one to redraw. So if we bring this back in again now, right? Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Now we scrunch a little. Okay, so we're sitting right at that 126.61, right? Which is the 882. We're looking at 118 and a quarter as support if it fails. So if it breaks the 126 half retest and drops, 
We're looking at 118 quarter as support, so maybe 119, 119 quarter. Somewhere in there is going to be a target to the downside. If we bounce off of this 126.5, 135 is resistance, so somewhere about 134 is going to be a target. So I like Moderna's setup a lot, right? And then last and certainly not least is Mr. Softy, Microsoft, right? MSFT. Let's go ahead and bring this one in a little bit. Uh, do, do, do. Let's unscrunch. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, uh, there, there we're at. All right. So we need a place to redraw. It's okay off of here. We're really not there yet. Waiting for a little bit of a better pullback uh, inside of there. So with that being said, um, let's see. So to the downside, well, let's do it this way. We don't have as much room to the downside to move, right? And what I mean by that is we've got the eight moving average right here. So it's 331. We're sitting at 334, right, as resistance. So if we retest fail, 331 is support, maybe 332 is your target. So you've got a very small move to the downside. On the upside, we're going to add a negative 1.618. We're going to need to fibbit that without a doubt, right? Let's go draw a fibbit inside of there. Got to split that level in half. All right, then we're talking about 34 to 52, that's 18. We're looking at 12, so we need to add one more series of fibbits. These are known as fibbits of fibbits. We're going to add the 764 and the 236 to both of those. So now if we break the 334 retest and bounce, we're looking at 343, 342 and 3 quarter as resistance. Somewhere about 342, 341 and 3 quarter, maybe 341 and a half. Somewhere around there is our target. Man, we've got a lot of room to the upside. Again, we're limited on the downside, but we're in overall bullish bias. Our moving averages are in a true bullish bias, so I like it more for the upside than I do the downside anyway. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, go over to tradinglikeaboss.com and register for some of those free trainings, including notifications on Trade with Rob. Take care, everybody. I will see you at our next update. Bye for now.